So Marty Brenneman's phone rang recently with the news he's about to make some money. They used his call of Christian Leitner's shot to beat Kentucky for an NCAA tournament commercial, and he gets a check when they use his voice. Uh, he says he misses the college basketball work, but baseball, of course, is his thing, and Cincinnati his home 40 years now with one team. And a high fly ball way back in center field. It is out of here. A grand slam home run for Joey Votto. And this one belongs to the Reds. Being with one club your entire career, how meaningful is that to you? Well, it's very meaningful to me because I, I think, you know, you, when you look around the game, uh, the number of of play-by-play uh, -play guys that have been with one club for 40 plus years you can count on one hand uh, there may be four just four of us once you hit the 40-year mark there are a whole bunch of folks that fall by the wayside at that point this one belongs to the Reds and it was a big one right on this is the biggest one I've ever played in Marty we is there a moment that stands out to you in your long career when people ask your favorite moment is there one um, I don't know I I've been blessed with having so many great games to broadcast, not only in baseball, but also in, in, in college basketball. And then, of course, you know, the Game 6 of the World Series in, in, uh, in 75. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know that one would take precedence over the other. Uh, so to pick one game out over the other, I don't know that I could. I figured it'd be hard to pick a game. Is there a call, though, you're most proud of? There's some that I'm, I'm very proud of. I don't know that one would, would, would equal or, or surpass another. I, I was proud of the, the Griffey number 500 and number 600. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. You know that in situations like the Pete Rose hit, you know they're going to happen. Uh, it's just a question of when. And I know a lot of guys uh, that try to prepare right. for the event and what they're going to say when it happens. I, I'm not that good. I can't, I can't pull that off and not make it sound like it's contrived. So the only thing you hope for is that you're able to uh, equal the moment and convey to people listening uh, the importance of the event that you're talking about on the air and you don't stumble all over your words because if you do that, uh, those words are going to come back and haunt you ad nauseum for the rest of your life. Shao kicks and he fires. Rose Wayne. There it is. There it is. Get out. Get out. All right. Hit number 4192. Have you ever been moved to tears inside the broadcast booth? No, but God bless his soul. Joe Nuxall did a lot of times. And I've, I've never been that type of emotional person. Uh, to get choked up over a, a, a call in a sporting event. Um, I guess as you grow older, you change a bit. Uh, I can get very emotional when I'm talking about the years that I worked with Joe on the radio. And, and, and quite honestly, <laughs> for good or bad, that's about the only thing I really get choked up over. But uh, I used to kid him. I'd, I'd tell Joe, i said, you know what, you can cry the sun coming up and door openings and stuff like that. And I was not made that way. But, but talking about him and, and talking about the things that we did as a team uh, in all those years, I, I get emotional about that. I read an article, an old coworker of yours from North Carolina in the 70s said, quote, what a great life he's had. Has it been? Yes, I've been. Um, uh, I've been very blessed. I, I don't know anybody who has been as blessed as I've been. There are people who have been as much blessed, but nobody who has been more blessed than me in having uh, the years that I've worked in this business, the teams that I've been associated with, the players I've been associated with, the people in general that I've been associated with, and the acceptance that I've had uh, in this town for 40 years. Um, if I had to do anything all over again, I don't think I'd change a thing. And Marty is 70 years young, as he likes to say. Even if he stays until he's 80, he'll still be 15 years short of Vin Scully. Now with the Dodgers for his 63rd season, calling baseball games for Los Angeles. I'm Joe Daneman, Fox 19 Sports.